Hi, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about, how long can you take for vertigo, help you to find more great treatment for your vertigo. As you can see, episodes of vertigo can last a few seconds, a few minutes, a few hours, or even a few days. In general, however, an episode of vertigo typically lasts just seconds to minutes. However, vertigo isn't a disease or condition. Instead, it's a symptom of a condition. Identifying the underlying cause of your vertigo can help you and your doctor find a treatment that works to prevent the episodes. Well, vertigo is different from dizziness. This is because the sensations from vertigo make you feel like your surroundings are moving, or that you're moving when you're actually standing still. Dizziness typically causes you to feel woozy or lightheaded. You see, vertigo episodes may come and go and cause sudden, severe episodes of disorientation. They can also be incredibly mild, or be chronic and last for longer periods of time. Likewise, there are other symptoms of vertigo include, feeling nauseated, sweating, vomiting, loss of balance, ringing in the ears, hearing loss, well, factors that affect how long vertigo lasts, and the cause of your vertigo plays a big role in how long your symptoms will last. Firstly, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo is one of the most common causes of vertigo. The average episode reoccurs but usually lasts for one minute or less. Secondly, a severe episode of vertigo caused by Meniere's disease can last for several hours or even days. This condition causes vertigo that can often cause vomiting, nausea, and hearing loss, as well as ringing in the ear. Thirdly, vertigo caused by inflammation or an infection in the inner ear may remain until the inflammation subsides. If you have any signs of inner ear problems, it's important to talk to your doctor about treatment so they can get the vertigo under control. They'll determine if there are any medications that may be right for the condition. Finally, vertigo may be a permanent or semi-permanent state for some individuals. People who've had a stroke, head injury, or neck injury may experience long-term or chronic vertigo. When you experience an episode of vertigo, it's wise to practice these do's and don'ts so you can stay safe and also reduce your chances of greater side effects or complications. If you haven't already been diagnosed, see a doctor after you experience vertigo symptoms for the first time. Together, you and your doctor can review your symptoms and decide on a treatment plan that fits what you're experiencing and what's causing the symptoms. Remember to take precautions to prevent injury as soon as you begin experiencing signs and symptoms of vertigo. The sensations you experience from an episode can be disorienting and may make you more likely to stumble or fall. This can lead to injury. If you're driving when a vertigo episode starts, pull over as soon as you're able. Wait out the episode before you continue driving so you don't put yourself and others at risk. When vertigo symptoms start, your doctor may instruct you to perform self-care home remedies or physical therapy maneuvers to ease the symptoms. Do them as soon as you safely can. If vertigo is the result of a health complication you're not treating, vertigo symptoms may become worse. You can begin to experience long-term health complications as a result of not treating the underlying cause for your vertigo. Vertigo is bothersome, but it's rarely a sign of a serious health problem. Treatment for vertigo aims to treat the underlying cause that's producing the disorienting sensations in order to eliminate the symptoms. If a cause isn't known, your doctor may also treat the symptoms of vertigo alone. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching and don't forget to click link in description below to learn more about the easy ways to treat your vertigo and heal it quickly.